Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a little pocket pistol that is gas powered, and will shoot basically anything you put in the barrel, uh, from airsoft BBs to darts, to little corks, or whatever you'd like. So let's get started. For this project, you'll only need a few things, really. Uh, the base, we're going to be using a little candy container. Um, I have this one, but any shape with a hole should work. You'll just have to make some modifications. For the barrel, we have a body of a pen or mechanical pencil. Again, depending on your ammo. Uh, you just want to make sure your ammo fits snug inside the barrel. Um, gas from a lighter along with the Fiezo, or however you pronounce it, spark plug, which when you click it makes a spark. If you don't know how to take that out of the lighter, along with your gas, uh, watch my other video, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Same process, just take that out. You'll need some tape, scissors, your ammo, and a hot glue gun, and two little thumbtacks. First step, you're going to want to connect your barrel to the body of the gun. So here, in my little Tic Tac candy container, I'm simply going to want to cut this top of the lid off. And as you can see on my barrel, I've kept the narrow end. So when I insert a BB into the end, it slides nicely but does not come out the other side. So I'm going to simply insert that in there like so. Put it in about an inch. And we want to make it airtight, so I'm going to probably wrap some tape around the barrel, just like so, and secure it with the hot glue. Let's, let me do that really quick. So, here we have the completed barrel assembly. I've glued it in to the top, put a bit of the lid from the container back on, taped around so it's perfectly sealed. Even added some glue on the inside there. Next up, we're going to do the trigger assembly, which will be our sparker from the lighter. Now, this is your preference. You could drill a hole in here, stick it in uh, the middle. You could put it as far up as you want, as far down as you want. You can do it so the gun fires this way or this way. I like this way better, and because my finger is long enough, I'm going to put it on this side here. So to fire, I just reach my finger over and click it. So to do that, I'm just going to put it here and put some electrical tape around and then kind of during the same process you want to measure how far your wires go and stick, I'll put this down for a second, get your two thumb tacks and stick them inside your plastic, um, if you can see that on the orange container. Um, just right beside each other but not touching so you want to stick them in all the way through and space them probably an eighth of an inch apart. As you can see I have attached the trigger to the side using some hot glue and tape it's a little crude but it works and I've made it strong enough so you can push back on the trigger and it won't slide back and then on the top here, you can see I've put these two thumbtacks in. And if you try and look through the orange container, you can see they're just spaced apart. And you may have to tweak them a little bit to be almost touching but not quite. So now simply connect your um, wires to the metal part on the tacks. Then push them in fully and secure them somehow, tape or glue. And then basically last step is just to make a little port to put your gas in. So just drill or poke a little hole in the back so it can be filled up with gas from a lighter, hairspray, bug spray, or alcohol. Let me do those and show you how it looks. All right, so here's the final product. What I've done is just insulated the thumbtacks, added a hole at the back, and secured everything with tape. 
So all you have to do now is put in the gas and we'll do some shooting tests. But turns out the stock gas from the lighter is not quite what we want for this project, doesn't work as I would like. So I have another combination of flammable gases. And remember to always be careful when using these as they are dangerous. But I have some flammable body spray. Take the lid off of course hairspray and green gas for airsoft guns. I'll see which one works the best. So to load it, simply get a BB, put it in the barrel. I already have one in there. And then depending on how tight it is, push it in with a little stick. And then to load the gas, by taking off the lid, you'll have just a little straw type thing. And I have a little hole right there. So you just push that up against it. Go like that, and I have a little bit of gas in there. So let's do a shooting test. Here's the shooting test. I've put in some hairspray. Some hairspray in here. So, uh, let's see how he shoots. So there you have it, folks. I'll try and put that one in slow motion for you guys. The key to shooting it correctly is to make sure you have the right amount of gas to air. Too much gas, believe it or not, it won't light. And obviously too little gas, you're just going to light up some air. And hope you enjoyed the video everyone. Very powerful. Um, sheet of paper was just loosely standing up. And I put a, put a mark in it. And... Yeah, I'll put it in slow motion for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.